Hello everyone, today I'm going to show you how to create a cup in Fusion 360. In my past videos, I have shown you how to modify objects, create them, create sketches, insert photos or canvases, and more. Now I'm going to be showing you basic tutorials on how to make everyday objects in Fusion. These Doing these tutorials are really good practice and can help you understand Fusion even better. So first, let's go to under create and click cylinder. I prefer to start at the origin and pick the plane between the screen and the red line. I want you to expand the cylinder to 75 millimeters. Make sure you are in millimeters. If you are not, you can always go under document settings and change the units. Alright, so make sure that the diameter is 75 and the height is 10, then you can press OK. Or whatever you want, like how big you want. You want your cup is fine with the bee, just make sure it's following the same design. Now we're making another cylinder, and I want the diameter for this one to be 100. And now, if you look at this view, it's kind of looking a bit like a plate, if you can call it that. Now I want you to raise this to whatever you want, like whatever's comfortable. Alright, I think 70 is good. So now we have this big cylinder on top of a small one down here. Now we are going to fill it. If you haven't seen my modify video, please do. We want to fill out this bottom section right here, so click on the edge. Choose whichever one as long as it's not too far, like see I got an error. Then you can press OK. So now we have this smooth. smooth. If you want to fill out the bottom, go ahead like this first cylinder. Now in cups we have a hole to hold for whatever liquid is there, whether it's coffee, water, lemonade, I don't know. So we have to make a hole so we can place the liquid. I would recommend going in the top view to see. So now you can expand it, but make sure there's a thickness on the end, unless your cup won't work. And you see here, it is like a drill, but we don't want it that, so you can say drill point in this hole box that appeared, and say flat. Then you can push it down to how much you want it. And if you want... And down here, there's a small diagram of how much, and you can change it from here as well. So I'm okay with that. And I'll press OK. Now there is a hole. Now we want to be using the fill it tool again. To smoothen out the inner so it's nice and easy to drink. This is an optional, but I prefer this. And if you don't want to do this, please skip over to the next step. But since, but, who, but for people who are doing this, just follow this. I think 10 is good. And make sure it's corner type rolling ball for both the fillets. I forgot to mention that. And the radius type is constant. Okay, now we have this cup, you can use your hands, but I believe with cups we want a handle, right? 
So we're going to make that handle using a pipe and if you saw my coil and pipe video, you know we have to create a sketch in order to do that. So I ch just chose which plane. And make sure you take your time doing this because sometimes the handles never really come out right. Yeah, like just now. Okay, I like that handle, so I'm going to press finish sketch. Now we have to go under create and choose pipe. And now it says we have to select a path. That path's going to be the sketch we created. And if it did say the error said just now the body will intersect and so that's okay. You can just choose seven or six, whatever one you want. I think the six is good. Plus make sure it's operation join. And you can press okay. Now we have to check for errors. And one of my earlier models, the pipe was coming out right here. And you don't want that to happen. And now this is our little cup. If you guys want to go back to repeat any steps or modify them, just go down here in the timeline. And if you want to change the units, just go down here. Also, make sure at the end there's only one body. If they're multiple, then that's not very good. That's not a good sign. Sketches should only be one unless you're doing multiple. And that is it. So for my next videos, I'll be showing you how to use the render workspace and how to use the appearance tool. And probably after that, I'll go with another tutorial. Bye everyone, and I hope you all have a wonderful day.